Welcome back. You're watching Headlines Now. Regretting the centre acting meekly before the Sri Lankan government, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Jalalitha reiterated her demand of sending back Sri Lankan Air Force personnel. The team has been shifted from the Air Force base in Tambaram to Yelahanka Air Base in Bangalore for technical training. Playing the centre of acting like a mouse instead of a tiger, Ms. Jalalitha demanded that the centre should take immediate steps to send them back to Sri Lanka. She also criticised the DMK President M. Karnanadi for not exerting pressure on the UPA government at the centre. A former DMK MLA and two of his associates have been arrested in connection with the death of a 9th standard girl from Kerala who worked as domestic aid in his house. 15-year-old Satya, according to her parents, was sent for work at Rajkumar's house on June 23rd after they were promised that their daughter will get schooled along with MLA's daughter. Satya died on July 6th at Taini Government Medical Hospital where she was admitted. Post-mortem reports showed traces of poison in her body besides injuries. Moving on, Tamil Nadu Local Administration Minister K.P. Munuswamy denied DMK President M. Karnanadi's charge that Chennai city was facing water shortage. He said that the AIADMK Supremo and Chief Minister J. Jalalitha had implemented the Viranam scheme in the year 2002 to safeguard Chennai from water scarcity. Apart from this, she had also made rainwater harvesting compulsory in the state. As a part of prisoner reform measures, the Tamil Nadu government announced setting up of a modern bakery unit inside Puril Prison, deciding to allocate part of the profit towards inmates producing the food. Chief Minister Jalalitha has sanctioned Rs 45 lakhs for this purpose. Out of the total profit earned from the sales, 20% each would be deposited in the accounts of the prison inmates, the government and prison employees' welfare fund. The balance 40% will be deposited in the Tamil Nadu Prison Department Manufacture of Boots Fund. Three people have been arrested for posing as Director of uh, Vigilant and Anti-Corruption Sleuths and have duped the government officials. Now let's move on to our crime correspondent Salim for more details on this. If you have watched Vijayagantha starred Tamil movie Ramana, then the message that I am going to say is almost communicated. In the film, Vijayagantha and his associates used to select the list of corrupted officers and kill them. But here in reality, three people have selected the list of corrupted government officers and in turn took bribe from them. These three people posed as if they are from vigilance and anti-corruption and approached the corrupted government servants. They in fact told them that in order to escape from law, you have to pay me such and such amount. And in fact, the corrupted officers had offered them the amount demanded by the three people. And later when they came to know that they have been cheated, these officers have lodged a complaint with the Vigilance and Anti-Corruption. The Vigilance and Anti-Corruption policemen then took a note of the crime and they nabbed these three people. Later they came to know that one among the three is the previous offender. Moving on, after two days of nationwide strike, the Bar Council of India has reiterated their resolve to intensify the protest against the Higher Education and Research Bill 2011. Addressing the media, BCI Chairman Manan Kumar Mishra said that they have achieved a grand success in two days strike by showing their strength and seriousness of the protest against the bill. He added that after seeing the strength and unity of the fraternity, we are hoping that their demands to withdraw this bill will be met. On July 11th and 12th, the lawyers from across the country had stayed away from work in the courts, except the Supreme Court, as a part of a nationwide protest called by BCI against the inclusion of legal education in the bill 2011. India has successfully test-fired indigenously developed nuclear-capable surface-to-surface Agni-1 missile from a military base in Odisha. The missile, which can strike a target 700 kilometers away and can carry a one-ton nuclear warhead, was tested by the armed forces from a facility on Wheeler Island near Dharma in Badrak district, 170 kilometers from Bhubaneswar. Mm. The Calcutta High Court ruled that the Prime Minister must be served content notice in the Vishwabharati urine drinking punishment shocker as he is a Chancellor of the University. The court added that the notice must be served to Vice Chancellor Shushant Dutta Gupta, Registrar Mani Mukut Mitra, Warren Uma Podar, and State Education Secretary Bikram Sen. The ruling came after a PIL was filed by one Tapas Banja. Moving on, the Kerala High Court quashed all charges against Kannada actress Jayamala and astrologer Unikrishnan in the 2006 Sabrimala case. Jayamala was accused of touching the Sabrimala deity in violation of temple traditions and offending religious sentiments. The court ruled that the charges were legally invalid. Indian death row prisoner uh, in Pakistan, Sarabjit Singh, has filed a fresh appeal to President Asif Ali Zardari seeking mercy on the occasion of Pakistan's Independence Day on August 14th. 
Sheikh who met Sarabjit in Lahore jail this afternoon in an email letter to the prisoner's son. Swapandeep said that his father had signed the letter addressed to Zardari for his mercy on the 65th Independence Day of Pakistan. Dozens of survivors of Nigeria's tanker explosion were unable to get treatment for their wounds almost 10 hours after a petrol tanker crashed and caught fire as people crowded around it to dry and scoop up fuel. Sunday Apkara said that his brother had not been treated since he was taken to the hospital in Okobe yesterday morning and had decided to seek alternative help. Initially in the morning, the number was so many, they were up to 30, 35 persons that were here. And I tried to cool down their temperature according to the practice. So after which some of them left, some were taken to the hospital. But right now I have about, about uh, eight, nine patients that I'm taking care of now. They are responding very well, very well. The United States Secret Service said that it was investigating a police officer in Washington after he allegedly made a death threat against First Lady Michelle Obama. According to the newspaper, the policeman who worked as a motorcycle escort for official motorcades in the U.S. Capitol was overheard on Wednesday declaring that he would shoot Obama and showed an image on his cell phone of the weapon he said he intended to use. Another short break now. Stay with us. Thank you.